Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Hello there, my child! It is with great honor to see you. I think you know exactly who I am. Yes, I am your Lord and Savior. It is with utmost my pleasure to meet one of my own creations up here, even when they are not past. You are still alive, correct? I see. Well, it is quite interesting to see a live human inside of my realm of heaven. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. Did you say you're currently staying in hell? Now, my child, I know you're still alive, so I don't see how this is possible. Could you explain to me, please, why your stay in the dimension my son was damned to? Oh, I see. It seems like there was just a mishap with the demonic magic that was happening, and you fell through a portal. Well, that's a simple fix, actually. I could send you home right now. Like this. Go on, my child. Live free into the own world that you have created, and also see your family again, which I'm pretty sure most of them would love to see you after all, some what my son has told me, you have been living down in hell for maybe a month or so now. So I'm guessing your family on Earth is missing you very much. Hmm? Uh, I... I beg your pardon? You... You like it in hell? Well, that's a, that's a first for my children, I've heard, that they actually enjoy being in the damned um, circles that, that my son has created. That is... That is interesting, but also concerning. I fear for your mental health, but... Besides that, you were sent here by my son to have a conversation with me. And, well, here I am. And I'm not quite sure that you are here for the right reasons why my son sent you up here. Well, in my mind, if a human was stuck in hell, I would pretty sure if my son was to call me directly, they would like the human to be back on Earth because of the mistake a demon with magic has made. But it seems like that's not the case here. So, why exactly did my son make this meeting for you to talk with me? Ah, yes. The exterminations. Well, I thought that contract was quite understandable. You see, for quite a long time, Hell's overpopulation has been a problem. 
and we can't really send sinners up here to have them wait. So, every year, every year, we have a specific date for heaven's angels and exterminators to be sent down to hell to send the truly most evil sinners to be killed and put in their place. And then, the angels would be sent back up like nothing ever happened. I, <clears throat> I beg your pardon. Rehabilitation for sinners. Well, I haven't had the thought of doing such things, but it would be a problem fixer. With the overpopulation in hell, are there buildings that Lucifer has made for this rehabilitation? His daughter's doing it. Interesting. I do not know of this. But it's also such great news. You see, a long time ago I have sent Lucifer down to hell, and also I have had Adam, my first man, have them send down a few things for Lucifer to make a few changes. Because I know there's a whole lot of people who are damned to hell because of the things that they have done. But with rehabilitation and what Adam has given Lucifer, the rehabilitation should have gone a lot faster than how it is now. Oh, well, yes, of course. Sinners are still human souls, after all. I'm not a monster. I still want people up here in heaven to live their best lives and reincarnate at one as well. Why do you look so confused and Discouraged. Has something happened? Well, I didn't... I didn't know. I, why would Adam do such a thing? Push forward six months for exterminations. That's absurd. Abrupt, even. I didn't know those things were happening. I was off on vacation for a little bit. I didn't know Adam would do such things. Oh, my. This is very new news to me. I... My child, I am... Dearly, dearly sorry. I will deal with Adam myself, and I will push back the exterminations to where they were, and make sure that things like this would never happen again. I am so deeply appalled. I am so sorry. Stop the exterminations all at once? Well, I mean, I have tried that before. But you see, Hell's population is so... just outrageously large. It seems very, very impossible to rehabilitate all of them. There has to be a place for sinners. And there has to be a place for the ones who are non-sinners. I can send down a few things to help with the rehabilitation of sinners, but I can't stop extermination day. The contract has already been written. I'm sorry. 
but that is how things will have to work for right now. My plans for a brighter future for Hell is to lower its population by tenfold. But these exterminations, yearly exterminations at that, not with this gruesome six months that Adam has done. I will talk to my first man about this whole six months push forward exterminations and have it set back to what it was. Wait, you, wait, what? A sinner has already been rehabilitated? What is his name? What is her name? What are they, what is their name? I would love to see them. Sir Pentius. Very, very interesting name. I must see them at once. I will get one of my angels to rearrange a, a meeting with him of sorts and televise it through all of heaven to show that sinners can become heaven worthy. Thank you, human. I, I appreciate you for telling me this information. I really do. And yes, of course, of course, I will make sure to talk to Adam and make sure that he knows not to do this ever again. Well, of course, my child, anything for my children. But, as of right now, I must go set up this meeting with this sinner that has been rehabilitated. Um, you, you, you may, wait, hold on a second. Can I, can I, may I uh, take a look at you for just, just a second? Interesting. I, I'm sensing holy magic coming from you. Could you, why, why is that? Maybe you were up here for a little bit. I mean, I did have you waiting for quite a while up here. And I apologize for that. I am a very busy man after all. But it could have been just some holy magic that has sprinkled off on your clothes. Do not worry. I think most of that will burn off as soon as you get back to hell. But you're still very confusing, human, for staying down in hell. But if that's what makes you happy, I cannot condone not having you have be happy. So I will allow you being in hell for this time. And if you ever want to have another meeting with me, make sure to talk to my son. And tell him that I miss him sometimes. And tell him that he's doing a fantastic job at doing this rehabilitation like I have been told. But of course, farewell, human, and have a splendid and blessed day. Now, Adam, come here at once. <laughs>